In this video, we're going to go over related rate problems dealing with uh, circles, spheres, uh, the inflated balloon, and the melting snowball problem. So let's start with this one. The radius of a circle is increasing at 5 centimeters per minute. How fast is the circumference of the circle changing when the radius is 10? So let's write down what we know. So r, the radius, is equal to 10 centimeters. And the rate at which the radius of the circle is changing, that's going to be dr dt. That's positive 5 centimeters per minute. It's positive because the radius is increasing. Our goal in part A is to find the rate at which the circumference is changing. So we're looking for dc dt. Now the first thing we need to do is come up with an equation that has r, dr dt, dc dt. So what equation can you come up with? The circumference of a circle is c is equal to 2 pi r. Now we need to get dc dt. So let's differentiate this equation with respect to time. The derivative of c is 1, but times dc dt. 2 pi is a constant, so we could just rewrite that based on the constant multiple rule. The derivative of r is 1, but times dr dt. So we have everything that we need. We really don't need r in this example. dr dt is 5. And so dc dt is going to be 2 pi times 5. So it's going to be 10 pi centimeters per minute. That's the rate at which the circumference is changing. And because it's positive, the circumference of the circle is increasing. Now let's move on to part B. How fast is the area of the circle changing when the radius is 8 centimeters. So r is now 8, it's no longer 10, so let's get rid of this number. But dr dt is still 5 centimeters per minute. And our goal is to calculate dA dt, the rate at which the area of the circle is changing. So the equation that connects a and r is the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So now let's differentiate this equation with respect to time. The derivative of a is 1, but times dA dt. Pi is a constant, so let's rewrite that. The derivative of r squared is 2r, but times dr dt. So we have 2 pi times the radius, which is currently 8 centimeters, and then dr dt, that's 5 centimeters per minute. So now let's calculate dA dt. 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 times 8 is 80, times pi, so this is going to be 80 pi. Now for the units, we have centimeters times centimeters, so that's square centimeters, and we have minutes on the bottom. So dA dt is going to be square centimeters per minute. So this is the answer. Area is always in square units. And dt is always going to have some unit of time. Seconds, minutes, hours, whatever you see here. Number two. Air is pumped into a spherical balloon at a rate of 450 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon changing when r is 10? So once again, let's make a list of what we know. So the radius is 10 centimeters. And the rate at which air is being pumped into the balloon, we have 450 cubic centimeters per minute. Now, what do you think that represents? Now, centimeters is basically a unit of length. It could be radius. It could be height. Square centimeters would be a unit of area. But cubic meters represents a volume. So this quantity is the rate at which the volume of the balloon is changing. So that's dv dt. And because air is being pumped into the balloon, the balloon is expanding, so the volume is increasing. So it has to be positive 450 and not negative 450. How fast is the radius of the balloon changing? 
So we need to calculate dr dt. So what equation will connect the radius with the volume? Now we're dealing with a spherical balloon or a sphere. And the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now let's take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time. The derivative of v is 1, but times dv dt. 4 thirds pi is a constant, so let's rewrite that. The derivative of r cubed is 3r squared, and then times dr dt. So on the right side, we can cancel a 3, so we don't have to worry about that. And we're looking to calculate dv dt. Actually, no, we have dv dt. I take that back. We need to calculate dr dt. dv dt is 450. And that's equal to 4 pi times r squared. And r squared is, r is 10. So if we square that, that's going to be 100. So on the right, we have 10 squared, which is 100, times 4 pi. So that's 400 pi. So 450 is equal to 400 pi times dr dt. So let's divide both sides by 400 pi. So now we need to simplify this expression. We can cancel a 0. 450 over 400 is the same as 45 over 40. Now 45 is basically 9 times 5. And 40 is 8 times 5. So we can cancel a 5. Therefore, the final answer is going to be 9 over 8 pi. So let me just rewrite that here because I am running out of space. dr dt is equal to positive 9 over 8 pi centimeters per minute. That's the answer. Number three. The surface area of a spherical melting snowball is decreasing at a rate of 2 square centimeters per minute. Find a rate at which the diameter is changing when the radius of the snowball is 5 centimeters. So we have r. The radius is 5. And we have the rate at which the surface area is changing. So that's going to be dsa dt. And it's decreasing at 2 squared centimeters per minute. So that's going to be negative 2 cm squared per minute. Our goal is to find the rate at which the diameter is changing. So we need to find dd dt, where capital D will use that to represent the diameter. The diameter is always going to be twice the radius. So if r is 5, the diameter has to be 10 centimeters. Somehow, we need to relate the surface area of a sphere to the diameter. How can we do so? The surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r squared. And we know that d is equal to 2r. So solving for r, dividing both sides by 2, we can say that d divided by 2 is equal to r. So now let's replace r with d over 2. So this is going to be d squared over 4. Now we can cancel the 4. So we're left with the surface area is pi times d squared. So now we could differentiate this equation with respect to time. So we're going to have on the left dsa dt, and that's equal to pi. Now the derivative of d squared is 2d times d, 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 t. So we have dsa, d, t. That's negative 2. And we have the value of d, which is 10 centimeters. And so let's calculate the rate at which the diameter is changing. So first, let's get rid of some stuff. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, these will be canceled. So what we now have is negative 1 is equal to 10 pi times d, 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 t. 
So dividing both sides by 10 pi, we're going to get our final answer. So the rate at which the diameter is changing is negative 1 over 10 pi with the units centimeters per minute. And that's it for this problem. So that's it for this whole video. Hopefully it gave you a good idea of how to solve basic related rates problems.